today I'm going to do my August favorites. As always, I don't know where August went. It was a busy month. I don't know where the month went. Same old thing as it always. Time just flies by, no matter what. It just flies by. And I discovered a lot of really, and you probably all know what a lot of it's gonna be, but a lot of really great things in this past month of August. So I'm going to share those, just a little brief overview with some of my favorite items this month. Some you've probably seen in tutorials, you've seen before, other places. Some are oldies but goodies. So let's just jump right in. Okay, so the first thing, probably obvious. And I've got these, I started, I placed four orders. Four orders so far. And my first one was at the very end of July. So I didn't want to include these in my July favorites yet, even though I was oh, obsessed at the end of July. Uh, but then all of August, literally almost every week in August, I placed an order. So I have placed four orders, ColourPop shadows. I actually have too many to fit into this case right now. And I think I have all but five, I think all but five. And you know that I'll eventually get those. I cannot stop ordering them. I am obsessed. I need every single one that they probably ever come out with. <laughs> I really need to order those last like five. So on the top, there's just my neutral ones. And then I put the more colorful ones right here. And then just some of the darker shades or more glittery ones are in this bottom drawer. <sighs> They're so good. I'm just gonna show you a couple of my favorite ones right now. My, probably my number one favorite because I will wear it the most is I Heart This. This is a really, really gorgeous champagne shade with a bunch of glitter. I've definitely used this one the most. It is just oh, so pretty, so reflective, just the most perfect lid shade of life. Like I'm obsessed. I can't even, can't even. And the second one that I've really been loving is Envy. How cute is this packaging, by the way? I love how it's just white and it's chic and it's just <laughs> that you can see the color through the lid. This one, it's like a black with a super shimmery purple throughout. Let's see, make sure that's in focus. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? They're all super pigmented and just like, <sighs> I will definitely put, see that? I don't know if you, the camera will never do it justice. Like never, you don't even know. Until you have these in your possession, you just don't even know. So ColourPop has definitely been my number one this month. I have just become obsessed and I love them so much. So much, they wear all day. There's so many super sparkly ones. The matte ones blend amazing. Hmm. Beyond these two, these two were both really sparkly. I would say that Desert, Desert has got to be my favorite matte. Well, it's satin finish, but when you blend it out with a blending brush on your lid, it definitely, see right there, definitely looks more matte and is a great transition shade. With the Sigma E40, it just blends out. Just, it's perfect, it's perfect. I'm, you don't even know like to, to a true makeup junkie who just like you, I feel like I have found gold. I feel like it is just my favorite. And the best part, if you don't already know, they are only $5 a piece. They're only available online and they are, get you some. And if you spend $30 or more, you get free shipping. And right now they're giving out one of their brand new that you can't even get yet, lipsticks and lip pencils. If you spend over 40, I realize I don't even have $40 worth of stuff that I don't have yet, but I might need to just like, order some Christmas gifts or something. Girl, boy, check it. And another makeup brand that I finally discovered, well, I didn't discover, but I finally purchased some of this month is Makeup Geek. So these are the shadows that I purchased over the past month. I made a few orders. They're always sold out of a lot of them. So these are the ones that I had been eyeing and decided to try. I like that I can move them around in here. I love the little pans. I ended up with a lot of neutrals, which I mean, I wanted the palette that I could use all the time that I could reach for would have everything I needed in there. So I made sure in, in my personal opinion for a palette to be complete for me and to be like a no brainer that I can actually do an entire eye look and maybe even like my brows in one thing is just like 
perfect. So of course I need one for my brow bone and that's vanilla bean. And then my lid shade is definitely Shimma Shimma. I bounce back and forth between Peach Smoothie and Barcelona Beach for my transition shade, my crease shade. And then there needs to be kind of like a white and a black. So I have Ice Queen and Corrupt. I just have all of those things. And then of course there are deeper browns and burgundies and ooh, so much gorgeousness. This one, Cosmopolitan. Look at that. So that is Cosmopolitan. I'll swatch a couple of them for you just so you get the idea. That's Cosmopolitan. That is Shimma Shimma. One is Burlesque. Look at that. Bam. See that? Wisteria. I'm not trying to flip you off, I promise you that. <laughs> And let's see, I'll swatch one more for you. If you guys want a full video on these, just let me know. This one is Mermaid. I will probably do a more of a Makeup Geek review so you can get much better swatches and all that good stuff. Look at those though, so pretty. Oh, it's been like, you don't even know, Makeup Binge Month, which is every month, so I don't know what I'm saying. It has been ColourPop and Makeup Geek Bench Month. We'll just go with that. So those two definitely two that I have been using the most this month and just love. And how cute is this Z palette? All leopard everything. All pink everything. All black everything. You know. Next thing that I've been loving this month is this Physicians Formula Mineral Wear. It's talc free. It's a correcting powder and translucent. It's got these really, it's really pretty to begin with. Really pretty swirls in there of yellow, green, and pink. Colors that are going to help correct any darkness, any redness, just balance out the tone in your face. And it does, it's really light. So it does have color to it, but in a white sense, in a really, really pale sense. So if you are like me, you can kind of see it right there. And my face is definitely lighter and it's great for setting my under eyes because it is so light that it actually does give that slight highlight effect that I've been searching for all of my life, I swear to God. So yeah, it's just a really great powder. It's only about $12, I believe, 12 or $13. I got mine at Target, it's drugstore. It doesn't have any bad things in it, you know, parabens, talc, those things you don't want in your powder. Um, but yeah, super impressed. It has a little mirror in the bottom, so if you're into that, that's cool. And it comes with the cutest little brush ever that I, it's totally not personally functional to me. Not really, you know, but it's cute. So I just keep it in there anyway. I finally broke out my It Cosmetics Lux powder brush that I got in a New Beauty test tube a few months ago. And it is a really, it's so soft. So soft just it's been perfect for just setting all over the face I never really use powders but in the summer it's been warmer and with my climate change from, from moving last year it's now been a full year this September crazy um, I have needed it so hmm, love this little guy too this top coat I had this forever ago and I remember I bought it just on a whim because I needed one and then I lost it and I tried more expensive ones and nothing actually lived up to this one because it's so fast drying and it is so just quick effortless just everything you want in a top coat so i finally found it on amazon i had to order on amazon because i checked walgreens i rite aid i checked walmart i checked target i checked everywhere every drugstore place that i could think of anywhere i checked ulta i could not find it so this is out the door america's number one fast drying top coat for nails so yeah, super affordable and just a really great top coat, very basic, but if you're in the market for one, try this one. Check it out. I finally broke out my Anastasia Contour Kit this month. I bought this when I was in Seattle a few months ago and I just, it kind of sat there. I don't know why. 
I was kept saying I was gonna do a haul and I left all of these things in the Sephora bag and finally one day I was just like, I need to use them. I need to play with my makeup. And now all the boxes are like gone and stuff is everywhere and you know, so I don't know if that haul will ever come, but maybe soon. May I'll just show you all of the things that I've purchased in the past few months at Sephora, which is a lot. But anyway, ramble, ramble, ramble. So I've really been enjoying it. I've been loving this middle shade for contouring. It's a nice kind of neutral. It's not too red and it's not too orange. It's just, it's that perfect middle one. So definitely the highlight shade and this middle one right here, which I think is Fawn. I fail at knowing the names. There we go. Fawn is the contour that I have been using. Sand is the highlight shade. Oh, smooth and just like butter. And then the brush that I fell in love with as well, I finally broke this out too. I bought this a while ago, if you all remember when this set came out from Sonia Kashuk at Target, and I think it was $25 and you got four face brushes. Just, it sold me on this contour brush. It reminded me of the NARS Eda brush and I just wanted to try it. I'm really glad that I did. It's a very intense contour. When you use it, it's just like, bam. See that? My hair usually covers most of my contour, so whatever. I like my contour. It's an awesome brush, you can just sculpt it out and then blend it upwards. The other brush that I've been loving from that set is the blush brush. I had been using a flat top one for so long and made my blush really really strong and I feel like I can control it better with this. I can either, you know, apply it heavily or just kind of slightly dust it on and I like having that control that this brush gives. I've also been using it, I'll put my blush on, then just using it for my highlight as well. Mm, I like it, I like this, and they're mint. Cute. Oh, okay, so I think that is everything. I feel like ColourPop and Makeup Geek consumed my month, and <laughs> I didn't really venture into much else. I did just order a bunch of new stuff that you will definitely be seeing soon, and... Yeah, what are your guys' favorites this month? I would love to know. Please let me know down below or tweet me on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram. Come find me on there and let me know what your favorites are. I also really want to know what videos you want to see next. I have been doing a lot of reviews and a lot of unboxings. Are there any more informational videos that you would like to see? I get a lot of requests for eyebrow tutorials and I'm working on that and how to apply false lashes. So those will be up very soon. Anything else you guys want to know? I know you guys want a hair tutorial about how I curl my hair. It's very easy and boring, so I think that's why I haven't put it up. But that's probably good for you guys to know if anyone wants to do it. It's easy. Hey, okay, well, I love you guys so much, and thank you so much for watching. Bye! Anyway. Oopsie. Baby girl, so cute back there. <laughs> Wow. You just, it's a normal curl iron. Curl your hair. Curl your weave. How's it going, guys? Whoa, I don't like that. Don't like that at all. Mm -hmm. Here with my channel. If you don't watch that, watch them. Watch my channel. Blush brush. Blush brush. <laughs> I picked up this. <coughs> Whoa. Cute, Shannon. Cute. Hmm. My camera stops recording. What are you doing? It's the... What? Diversal? It's diversal. It, got, it has options.